did family practice actually all together for 10 years and then went into palliative care. I'd had patients by this time who had had terminal illnesses and I had been a little flummoxed, particularly with one patient, on how to take care of the terminally ill. Later on, when I had been doing palliative care for some time, I found that uh, people became extremely good at, um, at, at understanding themselves that they were leaving this earth. Uh, as long as we control the physical symptoms, most people um, could deal with, with the losses. They were way ahead of their relatives, for example. So it was a huge learning experience. I felt that it was really important to try and look after people at home, not just in a hospital setting. So we would be called in as consultants uh, to see uh, patients in the hospital uh, and, and at home and to see outpatients. People started asking us to bring workshops to different parts of Alberta. So over the years, I think I visited pretty well every small town in Alberta. Pilgrim's Hospice was started by myself and two other people. We felt that there was an aspect of care of the terminally ill uh, or the chronically unwell that, that was missing. That uh, if, if they couldn't be at home for whatever reason, that there should be a place that's different from a medical floor uh, where they could be looked after and that a lot of the care can be um, given by volunteers who are specially trained. I'm really happy that I was able to open the door to palliative care uh, at the time that we did. It's very, very exciting that, uh, that, uh, that things have changed and continue to evolve and, and improve. Thank you.